Hi, and welcome to Comsky Corner. Today we're going to be talking about network security, looking at the different ways in which we can prevent attacks to a network. This video is specifically for the new OCR GCSE Computer Science course. However, it's applicable for most exam boards. The first method is called penetration testing and it is used to identify vulnerabilities in a network. Pen testing works by first gathering information about potential attacks and identifying possible entry points into a network. Then, the pen tester will attempt to break into the network as if an attacker, and they will report back their findings so that any spotted weaknesses can be fixed. There are two methods of penetration testing, and the first is called external penetration testing where the tester is put in the position of a hacker to spot potential threats. The second type of pen testing is internal penetration testing, where the tester is put in the position of an employee to see how much damage can be made by a disgruntled or dishonest employee. You may have heard of softwares like McAfee, Norton and Avast being installed on your PC before. These are called anti-malware softwares. Anti-malware software can be used to prevent, find, and remove malware from a computer or network to avoid files and accounts being tampered with. The next type of security method is called a firewall, and this is used to prevent unauthorized access. It works by examining all incoming and outgoing messages, only allowing those which meet specific criteria whilst blocking those that are unwanted or dangerous. There are two main use cases for firewalls, and the first is to block dangerous packets from entering the system, such as malware or phishing links. Most laptops and PCs come with an inbuilt firewall for this reason. The second is to block users from accessing certain websites deemed dangerous or distracting. You might have seen this form of firewall in school. For example, if you try and go on a distracting website like Amazon, you may get a site cannot be reached error. This is your school's firewall blocking access to the Amazon website. Another way to prevent unauthorized access is through strong passwords. The stronger the password, the harder it is for the attacker to guess it and gain access to the system. A strong password is generally considered one that contains random letters, numbers, and symbols, and contains at least eight characters. So something like backslash ne20.p1 forward slash is going to be much safer and stronger than a password like 12345678. User access levels limit what files and folders different users on the network can view. This is to prevent insider attacks, as well as to protect users' personal data for legal data protection reasons. Next, we have encryption. We know that any message sent over a network can be intercepted. To protect sensitive information from being accessed this way, encryption is used to change the original numbers and characters so that they are hidden or disguised. This is done using an algorithm and means that even if the data is intercepted, it can only be decrypted and understood using something we call a key. Even some websites are encrypted. So if you see the HTTPS protocol, rather than the HTTP protocol in a website's web address, it means that the website connection is encrypted and secure. All the methods of security mentioned so far have been digital security methods used to identify or prevent network attacks. However, the last method of security is physical security. This includes barriers, CCTV cameras, and security locks, which stop attackers from entering a building and attempting to gain access to a system. Now that we have been through all the prevention methods, let's try and apply this to an exam style question. A house owner is concerned about the potential threats to the network from being connected to the internet. Describe three possible threats to the computers connected to the network and give one way each threat can be reduced or prevented. Pause the video here and give the question a go. This question is nine marks and asks you for three situations. Therefore, you want to be making three points for each, naming the threat, describing the threat, and naming a method of prevention. Here's an example of what you could write. 
One threat to the computer system could be malware, for example, a virus. This is a piece of software that replicates itself and causes damage to the system. As the name suggests, a good prevention method would be to run anti-malware software. Another threat we could have is phishing, which is where an email link is sent and when clicked it directs the user to a fake website that collects all of its personal data. We saw earlier in this video that as well as protecting against unauthorized access, firewalls are good at blocking dangerous links or websites, so in this situation a firewall would be a good prevention method. Lastly, we could have a hacker, which we saw in the previous video, is a person attempting to gain unauthorized access to the network or the computers on the network. Here we are dealing with unauthorized access, so a good prevention method would be a strong password. Also, note that the question specifically relates to a home network. Therefore, a threat such as denial of service attack is not valid or relevant, as these are unlikely to occur on a home network. In this video, we have looked at network security, focusing on methods of prevention, including penetration testing, anti-malware software, firewalls, passwords, user access levels, encryption, and physical security. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time. Bye.